Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I am doing something a little different. I actually was watching and searching for using my fire glass, doing more things with my fire glass and resin. And I come across Wandering Art. Um, she has a YouTube channel. However, I, I don't think she's been on in the last couple of years, but I did want to just give her a shout out because I have done a few of these and I'm in love with this technique. So, and it, I get to use my piggies. So I have mixed up my mixed media girl resin and I have a, a cup here that's just stirred and ready to go. This is a 10 by 20 and I have it taped, push pins in, and it's spray painted. I actually use spray paint on this. So the colors that I'm gonna use in this today is a little bit different here. I'm going to pour a clear coat of resin in this cup and I'm going to put my TLP velvet. So that's the first thing that I am going to do. Not a lot. Let's use a silicone cup have my, my silicone cup. We're going to pour some of this resin in here. I might not need it all. And I'm going to put a little bit of my velvet in here. I say a little, but quite a bit. Because I want um, the iridescent part of this to come through. So I've got my velvet, let's stir it gently. I want this to have a sheen over the black. Look at that, beautiful. See that shine and shimmer? All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got my little cups and I'm gonna divide my resin up into these cups just enough because I'm gonna use this like, um, I'm gonna use this like a, kind of like a Dutch pour. I don't wanna get this on here, so let's move it. So I'm gonna use some hammerhead. Not that much. There we go. Well, I am going to mix up these colors, these resin, and I will be right back. We are ready. So I'm gonna go over it step by step as I go along. So the first thing I'm gonna do on this canvas, um, it's spray painted, like I said, and we're gonna pour on this coat of velvet. Okay, I'm gonna use all of it. I am just putting on velvet, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the clear and put it in the center, okay. Now, we're gonna move velvet around. Um, get it off the edges and, you know, it's gonna dry pretty true to color. And you see how it looks on this black background? It's amazing. Okay, I am just going along. I'm gonna put the rest of this in. No biggie here. That's what I made it for. away and smooth this around and I am just going over the canvas I actually start did one on a, a wood board and that video will come out um, sometime soon okay so I want to go ahead and get some of this velvet and go around this edge here now make sure Get all the edges um, covered. Yeah. Okay. You really can just feel it with your hands and know if it's covered. Let's turn this around. You can see here they are. Now we can go over this edge. And all I'm trying to do now is get the edges pretty clean, you know, um, covered. We will run a little bit of this off. One down. Now, I'm gonna take my gloves off. 
and I am going to torch. Let's torch. And we're gonna be moving this resin around a little bit, so no worries with the lines in it. Um, let's stick with let's stick with the blue, okay? And you can put this on before or after. I think my design I'm gonna go like this. So we're gonna go across. We're gonna take our blue fire glass. This is not the mirrorized fire glass, and I'm just gonna start with where I wanna put it. And like I said, you don't have to do this first. You can do this after. And I'm doing it first. It does shift when you are blowing because I like the, um, the depth of double layer. gonna go up just a simple line you can move it with your fingers and I'm using blue all right so perfect just a little bit we will add more after we get done okay so the next thing that I do, this is fun, um, is, let me see what that is in my resin right there, oh, bubbles, so getting these bubbles out. I am going to go ahead and um, add my piggies. Okay, so we have got sapphire. We're gonna start with TLP sapphire. And I am going to drizzle this along the rocks. Okay. And actually, guys, I'm gonna put a little bit more than that and I'm gonna drizzle it in the cup along the rocks. Back. Okay. Next, we're going to use, I mixed sangria and I mixed three in here. Sangria, hammerhead, and a little bit of nebula. So this one has got a little purple tint to it. Sorry, you can see. And I'm gonna, I'm hoping it will really accent all this blue that we have in here. Okay. Perfect. All right. The next one is going to be Hammerhead. TLP Hammerhead. Beautiful. It's like a silvery blue. I love it. I love all of them. All right. Next is this, the Hammerhead. I thought about doing silver instead of gold in this, but I'm doing gold today. I've decided. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, look how beautiful dreamy. I do see something, well, we'll wait and see how it goes. We're gonna do another torch, get around the torching. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna do is I am using Pinata alcohol ink. Now, when you're using the alcohol ink, you have to be very, very careful because it comes out fast and you cannot, you know, you don't, if you use too much, it'll overtake it. So I'm gonna practice a couple drops and I'm gonna put drop every so often on top of the glass where we're gonna be blowing it. And don't forget, see how it's spreading? 
Now the fun part. Now we are going to take our heat gun on high and I'm gonna blow this out. Let's get okay, started. Okay, so we are gonna use our heat gun on high. We're gonna blow this out. You wanna be real careful. All you're trying to do is heat that resin up to um, make that the piggies and the alcohol ink move away from the, the uh, fire glass. And I keep saying stones, but because <laughs> this particular fire glass does not have a reflective side on it like most of my fire glass. So this is fire glass. It just doesn't have the silver side. I decided to go with the blue. You're going to love the end results on this. So this um, Dutch pour blowout is, is a little different. You don't want the rocks to really, the fire glass, to really move that much. So we're just going through and... Um, giving it a quick uh, blow and then I'm going to shift it a little bit just kind of pour some of the resin off and then we're going to add some fire glass again here shortly see you there okay we're going to add some more of the fire glass now onto this area just to give it a little more depth and it looks like this might be leaning a bit so let's put a popsicle stick under there and then I'm just going through just to give it, like I said, some depth and um, adding some fire glass on the top and, you know, shape my design. And you can move it, that's what I like. Move this, and it's kind of like this. And then maybe up a little bit, there we go. Okay, and we're just going to go through and put some on. That's too big. There we go. And, you know, it gives it a little bit of, um, it'll still stick to the resin and it won't all be in the gold. Some of it will be covered. Some of it won't. Okay, now what I typically do is I'll move any of the resin, you know, that I, it's going to self-level. So I'll kind of go through and I'll use my stick and I'll swirl some of it. You can make some designs in it. Okay, what I think we need to do I really like the looks of this, these colors. We're gonna let this dry, put a couple more. Just wanna make sure that there's some blue showing through the gold. Yeah, that can't be there. Yep, and we can pick that one out with our tweezers. Okay, we are gonna go down for a close up. See you there. Okay, let's go down for a close-up. First of all, isn't it beautiful? I love the shimmer and the shine. And remember, this was my first one. I've gotten better <laughs> since this, but this was so much fun. Oh my goodness. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna show you the dried results. Okay, this dried beautifully. I really cannot believe how the resin just, it leveled out perfectly. I, I'm in love with this. I want to name these as well, and I don't have a name for this one yet, but I would love any suggestions in the comments below. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying this technique. Let me know if you'd like a certain color palette, if you have any questions. And um, I can't wait to share the next one is even better than this one. Okay, everyone, take care. Till next time.